Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect on the Mysterious JG. We took out the Asari Slaver and her band of ruthless pirates. R. It only took like three or four tries. But area is secure. Which means that we should be able to find um, loot. I hope. There's a fuel tank. In theory, if I had maneuvered to the right place, we could have blowed it up to kill some guys. An upgrade kit. It's good stuff. And we got a replacement grenade. Not that I used any grenades. Might be able to find a Metagel uh, replacement over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I did use Metagel. What was that in uh, one of the previous failed attempts? And there's not much going on here, but this layout... we seeing this a lot. I usually end up just fighting them in the, the entrance area. We get a little bit stronger, we can run by oh medical station, damn it. Easy decryption, which means decryption minigame. But we got uh Garrus with us, so he can do it. Um Yeah, damn it. I think you can have more than 99 Omnigel, but you can't have more than 99 Omnigel show up on the when you're in the Mako screen, or maybe you just can't have more than 99 Omnigel. In which case, I really need to stop being so stingy. No, I hit the right button. I just wasn't fast enough. You thought just because we had a feed of the pirates, we were done save loading here? No, no, Sariba. Shows what you know, folks. I can save load with the best of them. I can still save load with the best of them. Damn it. Alright. Seriously. The problem is that if you use Omnigel to open those things, and then there's... And then even if you convert all items to Omnigel, you only get like 3 Omnigel per item. So 90% of the time, if you break into these things with Omnigel, you actually have a net loss. end already. Yeah, you see, you get four Omnigel each, so if I converted all those to Omnigel, I would have gotten eight, and it would have taken me fifteen to open it that way. Here we go. This is more like it. So far, no plot stuff, but we definitely got loots for all this. Um, did we improve anything we care about? What is it telling me here? Take all? I, I don't know what that was about. Uh, so certainly, Avenger 2, we can get better damage, but... Same goes for Rex. We can get the Banshee 2 instead of the Banshee 1. Now for uh, armor. We don't have any uh, armor for his species. And we didn't get any biotic amps. We got new Omni tools, though. Tech cooldown bonus, but no shield bonus. Med recharge bonus. I don't even know exactly what that does. So forget it. And you can't really upgrade these things anyway. Do we have any better grenade ups? We could do fusion explosive too. Not as useful against the Geth though, and we are going to get back to fighting the Geth eventually. Which, frankly, since I'm the only one, yeah, those I could be converting to Omni Gel, but I might be trying to sell them later too. Um, uh, we got a better sniper rifle though. Well, no, it's the same sniper rifle. What am I talking about? The Edge Two Pistol from the makers of the Christian Two Pistol. Can I get better armor? No, I just keep finding lots of medium armor that I'm not trained for yet, and quarry and stuff. Maybe we can get better armor for you. Yeah, we can, actually. Oh, now you got, like, funky new, uh... Oh, and you need you need more shields, for sure. Alright, so that was definitely uh, profitable. A little trip. 
And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing this layout over and over again. And there's a little upstairs section that we can check. Sometimes I like to just run through and try to get to the upstairs section and fight people in this stairway well because it's easier to to spot them and, you know, kind of crowd control them. Let's go. Ikuzo, mamazo. So if there's any plotty stuff, it kind of needs to be in here, I guess. Hard decryption. You discover evidence of the Asar leading these slavers and Nasana Dantis, an important ambassador on the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Nasana with this. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was around and we couldn't do anything with her. Now we got hard decryption stuff. I don't think this will make the minigame any more difficult. It just means that we needed to have Garrus with us with his now hard level decryption skills to get in here. And it takes more Omnigel to break in. Yeah. Generally, these should be hiding good stuff, although it doesn't look like it really made that big of a difference, did it? Right behind you, Shepard. He came from behind. Malfunctioning object also contains stuff. And uh, there's one more storage locker with hard decryption. Yeah, the whole decryption minigame thing, it also went away in the future games. Uh, I do not object so much. I, I'm, I'm angry they got rid of the Mako. Not so mad that they got rid of this. This was not a big fun part of the game for me. Shepard just kind of lowers his head in shame after he fails to. It's so awesome. Although technically I think it's Garrus who's decrypting this thing. It's not using the electronic score. Ah! At that time I just flat out slammed on the wrong button right out of the gate. Oh. You guys starting to wish I was one of those LPers who edited stuff out? No, I'm not one of the LPers who edit stuff out. I leave it all in, baby. Nothing goes on the cutting room floor. Whew. I... Near the end there, I totally thought I'd lost it. Uh... Basic rounds. I don't even remember what they do, but they sound pretty cool. Uh, but I don't feel like subjecting you guys to more menu screen stuff right now, so we'll have to figure out what basics around to do later when I feel like playing with it. So we we are going to advance some plot stuff. We killed a slaver. Next time we're at the Citadel. Excuse me, we're going to like stuff our pudgy fingers in what's her name, the uh, Asari ambassador's face, and just be like, hey, bitch. Your sister's a slaver. Give us money to be, keep quiet or something. Or it'll be like that awesome, awesome Monty Python sketch. Uh, uh, the hell was it called? I'm, I'm totally losing the word now. Blackmail. Where, you know, it's just like, no, sir, we're not here to judge you morally. We just want the money. <laughs> Renegade Shepard probably asks for money, and Paragon Shepard probably just gets more Paragon points by saying, No, we don't want your money, we just wanted to, to moralize in your face. Oh, Garrus doesn't need more shields, he needs more life. But anyway, giving him more shields, if I can't give him more life easily, more shields is the best thing. Oh, hey, see, we detected uh, something on the planet other than what was on that mini-map. We found some minerals up here. To really do a thorough job exploring, like I'd be doing if I was trying for 100% completion run, because I was laboring under the false impression that would somehow make a difference in Mass Effect 2, which I was at one time, I would you'd want to like carefully explore the surface of the planet all the way around. Okay, it's that mini game again, but there's no way to f 
I think you're allowed to fail and just try again, so. We got credits, we got experience. That's what you do in this game. You just drive around finding things to interact with in a way that involves button pressing mini games, and then they give you credits and experience. This isn't the planet I was thinking of, by the way, that has the cool, uh, it's like, perfect temperature, beautiful, clear skies, but there's a pollen in the air that makes people go crazy. That is a different planet. Check it out. It's, uh, some kind of, like, pirate, uh, playhouse or something. I don't know what's going on here. Must be something we can interact with. That level one hazard's not making me happy. It's a slaver capsule. Matriarch's writing recovered. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the town held, amongst other things, one of Matriarch Dil Dilanaga's writings. A poem she wrote about how much she loves slavers. Oops, wrong button. Uh, now we can return to the Normandy with our heads held high. We prevented slavers from chilling out. Presumably they didn't actually enslave anyone from there since there was no one there unless they enslaved that one person who had those writings but uh... you know i'm sure they were using it as a base of operations for their horrible evil slavery stuff so yeah we totally wanted to stop them it's a little thing in this game when you find uh... new folks on a planet that you weren't expecting they're pretty much always going to be hostile to you it's a metallic asteroid we found a light metal Titanium, pretty cool. Poralan. Got some more matriarch writings. Matriarch Dilla whatever. I'm totally chilling out around here at some point, because I believe it was the same matriarch. She never hung out here though. That's what she did. She took her damn writings with her. Burgle juice. Gas deposit. Makes sense. It is a gas giant. Okay. Let's try Athens. So we have our inter-system flight. It doesn't involve Mass Effect Relays here, only for hopping from... I guess this is a system, so... Uh, but that was inter-cluster flight, flight. Ah, I think this is actually the planet where the... Oh. Maybe not. Man, for some reason I thought I recognized his name. I'm thinking of Pharaohs. So, if you really want to, you can read all that stuff and just get a feeling of all these different interesting planets that you could potentially be landing on. Proteus. Like that, our home world, this place is full of people who say this one thinks you suck. This one's gonna kick your ass if you talk shit about the Inkindlers. Gnosis. For some reason now I'm thinking I got here by the uh, process of elimination, but now I'm like, wait, didn't I know that Gnosis was actually the correct system to go to all along? Like, now that I think about it, shouldn't I have remembered that? More asteroids. Uh, heavy metal. There's generally only one thing per asteroid ring. Once you find it, you can stop. I don't remember there being any places where there's more than one. Carbonaceous asteroid with a medallion on it. Scott Hall's here. Ah, here we go. We're gonna save our game because this is where shit's actually going to happen. actually be able to begin a frickin' plot mission now. Now I have to think about whether I 
actually want to just save this for the next recording session, but no. Uh, we still got a few minutes of this video left, and damn it! We're gonna get on with the plot. This was not the right place, though. It was, uh... Not here, either. Where was it? It was here. Was it? No. Yes. Therum is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Not distant, we're right here. It's plentiful heavy metal... We are heavy metal! ...have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with fossils of simple silicon-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable... 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 in the past than it is in the present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. So, the capital is Nova Yekaterinburg, and, uh, it's actually inhabited, but it ain't exactly full of families and uh, shopping opportunities. It's pretty much a, a mining complex. So we're gonna drop by, pay them a little visit, see what they got going on, and, um... I had intended to use these guys all along, and uh, they got dragged along on the pirate quest. Maybe we'll have you sit down and uh, give Kaiden a chance instead. Well, he's even worse in combat than you are, theoretically. All right, we'll give them we'll give them a chance to go on a plot mission. I'll mix it up. Next plot mission, uh, we'll probably give both of these guys a rest. But now it's going to be the all boys team. Zaz Shepard is leading uh, Hope and Snow to the planet. Rescue some kind of blue chick. Yeah, we have like funky music playing. And uh, I believe we will. Oh, no, we do have a map. But yeah, this, this, this is not your standard uh, world to just explore at your will. This is a laid out map of. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. So, in theory, we can check and see if there's a doorway up here we can enter. Uh, you see complexes like this on other planets, but I think here, these are just decorative. There's a couple ones over there, too. You guys got anything to say? Remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> Great, thanks. I'm back in Afghanistan. You're gonna show me the damn pea color chart now? Nothing but rocks, dirt, and lava. Reminds me. Home is where the heart is, by the way, Shepard. Never forget that. That's some real wisdom, Rex. Shepard. Rex is a, essentially a frog. I mean, the bullfrog, instead of saying ribbit, says Shepard. Uh, as you would probably expect, driving to the lava will kill us. Just try not to do that. Consider it a gentleman's agreement between you and me, gentle viewer, unless you're a chick. Which, you know, in theory, there's at least one girl watching this. Uh, she may have quit after the first video. Don't really know. It's a gentle person's agreement, folks. Not get into gender politics here. There's more important things going on, like rescuing blue chicks. Can't worry about being sexist when we gotta rescue a hot piece of blue tail. There are people who are totally into the Asari. I mean, they are designed to be sexy. Uh, I, I don't know. I was always weirded out by uh, the possibility in any of the Mass Effect games of male or female shepherd getting it on with any of the aliens. Call me speciesist, but, uh, it just seems a little odd. That being said, Renegade Femshep generally ends up, uh, with a non-human just because of the human males that you can interact with. It's pretty lame. On the kind of time. Whatever. Not really what you're interested in hearing about, I'm sure. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, because you do get the option to have, like, a uh, romantic subplot in the game. Uh, looks like there was some bread stuff on it. Whoa, hey, who are you? You seem like a special friend. Uh, it's 
special friend who's shooting at us. We actually want to get a bit closer just because we have a crappy accuracy from back here, but uh... Not so close that we can see him real good, because then actually we just start getting hit with small groups of fire. That's the other reason people hate the, hate the Mako. Mako combat tends to consist of you just hopping in the air like an idiot. Yep, but those, uh, as we'll be able to, we can tell by looking at the journal. Well, we got new info, but uh, these are actually, uh, those were geth. Those were large geth. They were geth artillery pieces, essentially. You can engage them on foot up close. It's usually not a good idea. Uh, and uh, because I've been trying so hard to get Shepard's decryption and electronic scores high, I've been pretty much neglecting the bonus skill I gave him of um, AI hacking, which means he would not be able to hack those things. He could hack small geth troops, big units like that. Later in the game, he can hack them. At this point, no. Pretty much works against them. We've got quite a few big red blips ahead. Looks like they got a blockade of this path. Although, hey, check it out. There's uh, two ways to go. It's probably kind of uh, like that StarCraft Brood War mission where they're basically teaching you to look for alternate paths by having one path be really, really, really defended the other path. I'm not so much. Even though in that mission, as in this one, they don't really ever... The AI doesn't really charge you with any kind of force, so if you want to, you can just patiently take out the well-defended path. But yeah, this is... Uh, Please don't flip on our backs here. Oh. Never mind, it looks like we can go here, but we can't. Ah. We haven't gotten to the side path yet. It looked like an appropriate side path. It wasn't. So, uh, on the open area maps, I'm sure we could have navigated there. And this map... Only a fool punches a map back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Yep, that's what we're doing. Don't worry about it. Got you covered, Rex. Now, there's some kind of geth up here. A sniper or something. Oh, man, we're gonna end up flipped over. We are going to end up flipped over. We're not careful. This keep reminding myself on the freeform maps, the terrain is as it looks. On these uh, free programmed plot maps, there are invisible walls. It looks like you can go. It's actually set up as a wall. It's kind of frustrating. I'm not a big fan, but it's once I'm aware of it, it's my responsibility to actually act on that knowledge. Let the machine god sort them out. Juggernauts are pretty big and nasty, but uh, only on foot. They're not that big a deal here. Hey, we leveled up. What do you know? I can now officially uh, kick Garrus out. I can start working on things that I want to level for purposes other than being able to play the uh, button smash minigame anytime I feel like it. Tactical armor, we were gonna max out. He's now a shield boost master. And as annoying as it is to put a bunch of points into first aid, uh, if I want him to get electronics and actually increases. No, but it's health he's short of. First aid does not increase his health, it increases how much health he gets for using first aid, which I don't think he actually gets to do. Salt training. Oh man, so nothing increases his health. Seriously, it looks like nothing increases his health. 
Damn, Garrus, I mean, you are a puss in this game. Save? No, I can't save. It's like when I got hostiles on the map. Might be why they got that one geth up here in the freaking mountains that I don't seem to be able to get to. It's stopping me from being able to save. I really don't want these guys blowing up my damn vehicle. So I don't remember exactly how much of this I need to do. sometimes makes a difference. We're on a different level of zoom. Like, on foot, we might actually be allowed to save. I would I would like to save at this point. Really, I would. I'd love to find that damn geth that's up here, but never mind. I think we're good, Shepard. Okay, now we actually will be allowed to save, as ridiculous as this seems. Might be a little on the early side, but uh, just because of the way my place hasn't shaken out. I'm coming up on an even hour, uh, which makes it easier for me to remember to split the videos. So, although I think this one's probably going to end up being like 25 minutes or something, I'm calling it a video. When we come back, folks, we're going to finish taking out that big geth checkpoint. We have the option of ignoring the... There's a bunch of big, nasty, heavy turrets guarding the entrance. Uh, we have the option of attacking them from behind and taking them out. There is some risk there, but we'll get experience for it. Haven't decided. We'll see in a minute. And by a minute, I mean the next video. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, when we come back, action, plot stuff. This is why we were sitting through a bunch of conversations with Tally, folks. This kind of excitement. Bye-bye.